this is an informational class card at the back of the view book. This is because I only have so much time today to go through all of the programs and there's a lot more information to be had on all of our programs. So to help you make a decision, just fill out this and check off the boxes of the programs. You can check off more than one if you're not sure what you're interested in yet. And Carlton will send you an information packet based on what you checked off. So it's just a little bit more detailed information. Um, I will also collect them at the end of the presentation for a draw for a prize. So maybe a little bit more incentive for you guys to fill those out. Um, does anybody need a pen? Um, so my name is Ashla. For those of you who want to remember that, it rhymes with spatula. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm a recent graduate from the Environmental Science Program at Carleton. I'm actually originally from New Brunswick. So I know what it's like to kind of pick up, leave home, and start out somewhere new. I actually didn't know a single person at Carleton when I came there. Um, that being said, I thoroughly enjoyed my four years and I didn't rec regret my decision for a second. So it really is a fantastic uh, school and I wouldn't be doing this job if I didn't absolutely love my four years there. So. Um, that being said, I'll get things started by showing you guys a quick video. This is just kind of a quick overview to give you a taste of Carlton and what we're all about. Everything in our world is changing. The way we communicate, the way we learn, and the way we work. For today's world, you need an education that's anything but textbook. Welcome to Carlton University, Canada's capital university. Located in Ottawa, Ontario, home to Canada's federal government, the embassies of world nations, and a thriving technological sector. Carleton offers a world of educational opportunities. From our diverse Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science programs, to specialized degree programs in fields like engineering, business, and architecture. Carleton has a network of support services to help you succeed. Our instructors are inspiring, supportive, and engaged in fresh and innovative research. At Carleton, we work together to find solutions to real-world problems. I like to get students to think about the way everything interconnects. Religion, language, culture, history, society, it's all interrelated. With access to cooperative education options in over 80 of our programs, streams, and concentrations, and student exchange opportunities in more than 30 countries, you can explore career options and explore the world. With first-class athletics facilities, great sports teams to play on or cheer for, and more than 150 <laughs> clubs and societies, you can take time out from your studies to get involved. Four years, it's, it goes by quick if you can actually believe it. Getting involved at day one just prepares you and allows you to get the most out of your university experience because it isn't just about the classroom experience, it's about everything else you can do outside the classroom as well. And finally, with a degree from Carleton, you'll join a global network of over 100,000 graduates and be prepared to take advantage of what the working world has to offer. I feel like my experience here has gone far and beyond what I expected. I just thought I was going to come for four years, have a great time, get my degree, meet some new people, and then go home. But now that I've been here two years, I absolutely love it. I love Ottawa, I love Carleton, and I honestly feel like I don't want to go home after this. I have no regrets about my decision to come to Carleton, both uh, in my program journalism, I've loved my four years here. I had my decision to come to Ottawa, I just found that the city itself was really welcoming. I felt at home right away. Put yourself in the center of today's world of opportunity. Come join us at Carleton University. To find out more or to book a tour, visit carleton.ca. Alright, so that's a quick overview of Carleton, kind of a taste of what we're all about. As you can tell from the video, we are located in Ottawa, Ontario. This is Canada's capital. 
Um, for this reason, we have the ideal location for a university. It really is a center for political science, for journalism, for international affairs. Uh, it is a technological hub of Canada. It is also an area of scientific innovation, lots of research being done in the Ottawa area. So really, it's the place you want to be studying just about anything. So we really have that opportunity for our students not only to have all those jobs at their doorstep once they graduate, but to get that hands-on experience Jenny, could you contact the main office? While, you, while you're still in your undergraduate degree. So we have students that have the opportunity to do things like co-ops and internships. So they work for the government, they work for NGOs in the area, international affairs, private sectors. All of that is available in Carleton. We have students from other universities actually send their students to Carleton or to the Ottawa area to get job experience because there's that much going on there. So we really do have a fantastic location for a university. The second thing about Carleton I really want to emphasize is our sense of innovation. So we're constantly improving our programs, changing them, modifying, adding new programs to keep up with the world around us. So brand new this year we have an entrepreneurship stream in our business degree. We also have a brand new degree which is the only one in Canada, the Cognitive Science degree. So lots of brand new things. We were one of the first schools to offer aerospace engineering. All across the board, we're constantly modifying, updating our programs to make sure that they are keeping up with the world around us. We also have things like clicker technology. So this is a little remote control that every student in the class can get um, in some of your bigger classroom sizes. And the professor will describe a subject, a uh, concept, explain it to the class, and then put a multiple choice question up on the board with options A through D. Then from your seat, you will choose an answer to that multiple choice question on the board. And on the next slide, the professor gets instant feedback into what you guys responded. So that way, he knows if you guys are understanding the concept or if you guys really all got the multiple choice question wrong and he clearly didn't explain it well enough and needs to go back and revisit that information. So he gets that instant feedback, knowing instantly whether you guys are understanding what he's saying or not. So that's another way that Carlson is a very innovative school. We also pride ourselves on our tight-knit community. So what's called a self-contained campus. This means that we're a little bit removed from the downtown core, so you don't have people walking in that don't belong at Carleton. Although we are a school of 26,000 students, which is a medium-sized campus, you really get to know and see familiar faces really quickly because there's no one on campus that isn't supposed to be there. So it seems like a much smaller community than 26,000 people. That being said, we are a short 15 minutes from the downtown core. So we really do have quick uh, access to that, and that being said, you have access to all of Ottawa. There are three different buses that come right to campus, as well as the O train. Um, so between the four of them, there's something that's leaving campus every three to five minutes. So you really are easy access to everything, and in your tuition is a U-Pass included. So unlimited access to all of that. Finally, we also have a real dedication to solving real-world problems. So be, again, because of our fantastic location in Ottawa, not only are you sitting in the classroom learning the theories, learning the concepts, you're able to go out into a fantastic city and get that hands-on experience. So you're really going out and putting that into practice. So really lots of great opportunities to do things like that. That being said, this is our Carleton campus. Um, as you can see, it's quite green. Um, this is, again, because we are slightly removed from that downtown core, we have that green space. We are our own little oasis, our own little island, with that access to the outside world, but our own tight-knit community. We're also surrounded by two bodies of water. So on the bottom here is the Rideau River, and then up there is the Rideau Canal. And the Rideau Canal actually freezes over in wintertime to become the longest skating rink in the world. So you can actually skate directly from the Carlson campus to downtown and back. Um, there's students that will get their groceries that way. There's students that live off campus that will skate to class in the morning. Um, it's really, really a great way to kind of get some exercise, de-stress, or just hang out with friends. There's beaver tail shops along the way with hot chocolate and coffee. So lots to do in the wintertime. A lot of cities have a lot of stuff going on in the summertime. Don't get me wrong, Ottawa has a lot to do in the summertime. But there's also a ton to do when you're actually there in university during the wintertime. So lots of different things like concerts at student discounted prices. I was able to go see NHL games for 20 bucks. So lots of opportunities of fun stuff to do on top of your campus experience. Um, that being said, if winter really isn't for you, we also have five kilometers of underground heated tunnels on campus connecting all of our buildings. So it is not uncommon for students to roll out of bed in residence in their shorts, flip flops, and Chase, could you please pick up a call on 101? And they walk to class in the middle of winter because they can. 
Um, so if you want to, you can, don't like blizzards, don't like winter time, you can stay underground. If you don't like rain, you can stay underground. Heck, if you don't like sunlight, you can stay underground all year if you want. So, a kind of a really cool feature to the Carlton campus. We're also what's called a medium-sized campus. So as I mentioned earlier, there's 26,000 people on our campus. This is a lot smaller than some of the big universities, which allows us to offer smaller class sizes. So, um, the biggest lecture hall at Carlton is 444 students. That being said, a lot of the bigger universities are thrown in and first year with a thousand other students. You really don't get to know anyone in your classes. It's way too intimidating to go up to a class. Dr. Sullivan, can you please take up a call on 101, Dr. Sullivan? At Carlton, smaller campus size allows us to offer those smaller classroom sizes. So first year, 400 students in some of your classes, and those will only get smaller as you go up in your years. I had a class in my fourth year that was eight students. So you really get that chance to know people that are interested in the same things you are. That being said, we are a lot bigger than some of the other campuses, um, we, so that gives us the population to support a wide variety of programs. So in that way, I'd like to think of ourselves as a happy medium. Um, but one of the biggest reasons you guys are going to be choosing one university over another is the programs. That is a big deciding factor for most people. Um, so at Carlson, we offer 16 different master programs. Um, all of those are listed on page 62 and 63. And if you guys have the view books, I'll get you guys to turn to those right now. To this beautiful rainbow coming chart. Um, this is going to be very helpful for you, for you when you're looking at different programs to apply to, what you need to get into those programs, what your marks need to be to get into those programs. All of that information is summarized on this page. So, for example, if you're looking at the Bachelor of Arts, you'll see that all BA programs require English for you. With the exception of economics and biology, all of our arts programs just require that you have English. How we calculate your admission average to get into Carleton is your top six or URM marks, including your prerequisites. So for the BA program, we will take your English mark as well as your top five other four URM courses. In the next column, you'll see the minimum cutoff range. So this is kind of a rough guideline for where your mark should be to get into this program. That being said, you obviously should be achieving or aiming for as high a mark as you can in all of your classes. That way you're in good standing to get into that program. If you're aiming for, let's say, the 73 to get into the Bachelor of Arts program, and you miss by a couple percent, you do risk your chances of getting into that program. So always aim for as high a mark as you can in all of your classes. Um, I'm going to go through each one of our Bachelor programs now. Um, that being said, it will be a quick summary, so if you have questions, please feel free to come and talk to me afterwards or fill out that information request card on the back, and Carlson will send you uh, program-specific information uh, tailored to what you're interested in. So starting with the Bachelor of Architectural Studies, this is a fantastic program at Carlson. It's what we call a 4 plus 2. So this means four years of an undergraduate degree followed by two years of a master's degree. So we offer both of those at Carlson. Once you complete those six years, you do have your entire academic portion completed that you need to become a professional architect. So that is all offered at Carlson. We are what's called a design-heavy program, so it doesn't look necessarily at the technological aspect of architecture, but a lot more of the design aspect. So for this reason, we do require you to submit a portfolio to get into this program. Um, if you're thinking of getting in, please, please start working on that portfolio sooner rather than later. We're really looking to see if you're a creative type personality, as well as that you're willing to put the time and effort into that portfolio. So the sooner you start on it, the better. Um, we also have a really cool part of the Architectural Studies program that is directed study abroad. So this is where a Carlson professor will take a group of students to another country and learn about the architecture in that country. So, for example, we had a professor take a group of students to New Orleans, and then they worked their way up along the Mississippi River, stopping at jazz clubs along the way, learning about the architecture of jazz clubs, the acoustics, how they're built. Then they came back to Carlton, actually designed and built their own jazz club. So kind of a cool opportunity to get that international experience and then put it into practice. So a really, really great program at Carleton. So architects are responsible for designing the world we live in. Industrial designers are responsible for dealing with the world we live with. So everything around us, from furniture, jewelry, clothing, technology, anything that is mass produced, someone had to come up with that idea and then put it into practice. Those are industrial designers. Another design intensive program, so again, a portfolio is required to get into this program. But it is a fantastic program and we've had so many successful grads come out of that program. For example, I'm sure you're all familiar with the little orange twist top of a Gatorade bottle. Kind of a simple little idea. A Carlton grad created that, came up with that concept and design. He is now a multi-millionaire thanks to that little simple orange twist top. Um, another one of our grad students helped design the torch for the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. So a wide variety of things you can do after you graduate.
graduate from this program, and I hope you see a lot of successful grads coming out of our program, uh, and that is industrial design. Jumping back up to the Bachelor of Arts, this is the largest program at Carleton, and it's typically the largest program at most universities. At Carleton, we offer 30 different majors and minors. This allows you to kind of tailor your degree to what interests you. So if you're really interested in psychology, you don't just take psychology courses. You can mix that in with sociology, criminology, law, whatever really interests you. So it's not uncommon for our students to not only take psychology, but take a double major, or a major and a minor, or something like that, so that it really, the degree really is what interests them. We also have a great thing in our arts program called First Year Seminars. So as I mentioned earlier, biggest classroom size is 400 students. Um, again, not that big compared to other universities, but let's be honest, 400 students is quite a lot to be in a first year class. So for that reason, we offer these first year seminars. So this is a class that is capped at 30 students. That's it. So it's really a great way to meet people in your program, kind of make some familiar faces that once you get into that classroom of 400 students, you're like, oh, oh, I know her. She's in my first year seminar. You're not in a sea of strangers anymore. There are familiar faces in there. So that first year seminar is a course we offer to all of our first year art students. That chance to make that transition and make it a little easier. We also have a really cool program called Arts One. So this is 100 students that travel to all of your classes together, and they fit under a certain theme. So for example, Criminal Minds. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the show or seen the show Criminal Minds. Well, this Arts One cluster focuses on Criminal Minds type subjects. So serial killers, uh, legal issues, and all of that to do with Criminal Minds. So you're going with the same 100 students to all of your classes, obviously all with the same interest in the topic Criminal Minds. So you really get to know those people, and 100 people doesn't seem like much when you're traveling to all of your classes together. So another great way to make that transition into university. Similar to the Bachelor of Arts is the Bachelor of Humanities. So this is for people who are really interested in things like literature, art history, culture, sociology, philosophy, like them all so much and can't decide what they want to do in the arts program. The Bachelor of Humanities is an amazing opportunity for you to do all of those subjects. So it's a unique program that takes you in year one from the dawn of time, looking at original philosophers like Aristotle, Plato, and then you work your way up into modernity over your four years at Carleton. It is a very reading and writing intensive program, so for this reason we do ask that you submit a writing portfolio to get in. Um, if your mark in English is not an 85% or your overall average is not an 80%. So if you think you might be straddling that line or not quite meet those criteria, Fear not, they just want to know that you're able to write. So start working on that writing portfolio and you um, will have a chance to get into that program. Back up to the Bachelor of Cognitive Science. This is a brand new program this year and we're one of the only universities in Canada to offer this degree. Um, and it's a multidisciplinary look at the mind. So you're looking at disciplines like psychology, philosophy, linguistics, computer science and neuroscience, taking all of those different subjects to study the mind. So a lot of grads often go on to things like speech pathology or occupational therapy. So if that's something that interests you, this is a brand new program. So the class sizes are quite small, so you really get that uh, close interaction with your peers and coworkers in this fantastic, fantastic program that looks at all of those subjects. Um, Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of International Business, these are both housed under the Sprott School of Business at Carleton. So this is a tight-knit community within the Carleton community on campus. Um, the advantage of the Carleton Business School is that you are starting core business classes in year one. Some universities have what they call a qualifying year, where you're taking general academics to see if you get into business in your second year. We don't really think that's fair at Carleton, so if you're accepted into commerce in year one, you are accepted for your full four years. So you don't have that trial year to see if your marks are high enough to get into second year. If you're accepted, as long as you're passing your courses and doing reasonably well in those courses, there is no cutoff for the number of people in second year. Um, that being said, the international business is very similar in that you're also doing those core business classes in year one, but in addition you're learning a new language. So Carlson offers six different languages, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, Japanese, and Mandarin. So you start intensive language training in one of those languages for your first two years, and then in your third year you follow that up with a mandatory study abroad in a country that speaks the language you chose to study. So for example, if you choose to study Portuguese, in your third year you'll end up studying in Brazil taking business classes in Brazil, so you still finish your degree in four years, but you get that cultural experience. By the time you graduate, you're fluent in a new language and have all of those networking opportunities across borders. Um, my coworkers and I also figured out that your age group, if you guys choose to go to Brazil in your third year, 
you can hang around for a couple of extra months and catch the Summer Olympics in 2016. So, kind of a cool opportunity in that way too, if you might be interested in the Bachelor of International Business. The Bachelor of Computer Science is a relatively straightforward degree, but this is a great place to be studying it. Ottawa is what's known as the Silicon Valley of the North. We have over 1,800 different high-tech firms in the Ottawa region. This is why we get nearly 100% co-op placement every year for our computer science students. There are just that many jobs available. So if you're thinking of computer science, Ottawa is a fantastic city to be studying that. Within our computer science program, we have different streams like game design, as well as mobile app design, robotics, um, lots of cool programs in that for you to tailor your degree to what interests you. Um, Bachelor of Engineering. This is, uh, we're one of the biggest schools of engineering in Canada and one of the most innovative programs. We're the first to offer uh, the Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering. We now have new sustainability, renewable energy streams within engineering. We are one of the only schools to offer these programs. We're constantly modifying our engineering program to make sure that we are one of the best. Um, we also have some of the state-of-the-art lab facilities. So for our aerospace students, we actually have a wind tunnel. So they can design their blades for their airplanes, stick them in the wind tunnel, and see how they react under different air pressures or different wind speeds. So that's a really cool feature. Um, and it's not just unique to aerospace <coughs> students. We have things for our electrical engineers, our biomedical engineers, design things like prosthetics and false hearts. So lots of really, really cool programs within our engineering faculty and some of the best state-of-the-art labs um, for them. Bachelor of Information Technology. Um, this is a joint program we have with Algonquin College. So, you not only have a degree from Carleton once you graduate your four years, you also have a diploma from Algonquin College, so best of both worlds. You also have access to both lab facilities as well as both campuses, so athletics and all of those other facilities. Really access to both communities as a whole. Um, that being said, there are three, three streams in information technology. First is interactive multimedia and design. So this is a lot of things related to game design, so 2D, 3D animation, computer animation, game design, web design, um, anything to do with uh, that computer design aspect. Um, again, a kind of a creative program, so they do want you to submit a portfolio to get into that program. The second stream is networking. Um, and networking is a huge field. There's so many jobs in this. All of the computers in the school are connected by a network. We have social networking now. All of our cell phones are connected by a network. Someone has to create these networks, put them into practice, and then maintain them over time. So if that's something that interests you, this is a great program to do that, where you get both that degree and that diploma and access to both facilities. Finally, is the PLT, Photonics and Laser Technology. This is one of the coolest programs we offer at Carleton, um, I think, because right every time I walk by their lab, they're just playing with lasers all the time. Um, so laser technology is used to do everything from read CDs, DVDs, laser eye surgery, to things like holography. So um, last summer at the Coachella concert, they brought Tupac back to life using holography. Um, there's also a new thing that you can attach to Apple, product, Apple products that sends a, a keyboard onto the hard surface you put your phone on, and then you can type on that hard surface and it will send a text message onto your phone. That's all done doing laser technology. So obviously a very huge field. Um, and if that's something you're interested in, definitely a good place to be studying it. Um, Bachelor of Journalism, we are very well known for our journalism program. We're one of the oldest journalism schools in Canada, so we have a, a long foundation in our, that program. One of the big advantages of the Carleton Journalism School is that we don't stream you into one particular media type. So you're not just a pro at print once you graduate, because who knows if print is even going to exist by the time you guys graduate. So you don't want to just have a skill in one area. We want to make sure that you are far more marketable once you graduate and a professional not only in print, but TV, radio broadcasting, as well as web broadcasting. So a lot of different skills that you can acquire once you graduate. Another unique aspect is that we combine it with an academic portion. So let's say you're really interested in writing or talking about political science. Your dream job is working for CBC News, writing in the political articles uh, for them. Why not take political science courses? So you actually have the academic background to know what you're talking about when you write about it later on. So combine your journalism degree with economics, with science, with human rights, with political science, whatever interests you, so you have that academic basis for later on when you decide to write about it. Who here wants to study math for the rest of their life? No takers? That's unfortunate. Um, math students, once they graduate, typically make the highest salaries for the least amount of hours worked for the least amount of stress. So maybe if you weren't... Ask them again now. Yeah, or is that even interested in math now? Um, definitely a really, really great program and is so applicable to so many of the things. So if you are decent at math, don't 
definitely look into the Bachelor of Mathematics, because obviously a lot of good money to be made in that program. Bachelor of Music is a performance-based degree, so for this reason we do require an audition to get into our Bachelor of Music. That being said, if you are interested more in the theoretical end of music, we do offer a music program within our Bachelor of Arts. So you can still do that without the performance end of it. But if you are interested in performance, the Bachelor of Music is a fantastic program um, that will take any instrument or voice that you bring to us as long as you're good enough at it. That being said, we've had students graduate in bagpipes. We now offer courses for the carillon, the bells at Peace Tower. So a wide variety of different instruments and skills that you can learn in the Bachelor of Music. We also have cool ensembles like African drumming. Um, a lot of great professors. We have a Juno Award winning professor at our school. So a really uh, great program. Another really unique thing about our program is that we don't stream you into classical music. So it's only about a third classical, then a third jazz, and a third everything else. So not just one skill once you graduate. You are very marketable once you graduate in a wide range of skills. Uh, Bachelor of Public Affairs and Policy Management is sort of political science taken to the next level. So everything around us is governed by policy. Um, everything from air quality, education, road systems, you name it, is governed by policy. So people who go into this program are typically students that want to change the world. Uh, they know that policy making is the way to do that. Graduates from that program have gone on to work at high profile positions in the government, the UN, Amnesty International, as well as many other big NGOs. So if you're really that kind of a personality, this is a really great program, and it's in Ottawa. This is where all the policies are made. Why would you want to study something like this in any city but Ottawa? So a really unique program to Carlton, and a really a fantastic place to be studying it. Bachelor of Science, this is my home territory. Um, I absolutely love my four years in my science program, and one of the biggest reasons for that was that I didn't know what I wanted to do in science when I went in, and I was in first year taking a bit of chemistry, biology, as well as geology, as well as geography, um, on top of my regular science courses. So I got to experience a lot. And I kid you not, by the time I graduated, my degree has a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, concentrating in biology, focusing in ecology, with a minor in chemistry. So I was eventually able to tailor my degree down to exactly what interested me. So you can finish with as broad a perspective or as narrow a perspective as you want, depending on what interests you. We also have what's called the Super Lab on campus. So about five years ago, Carlton spent five million dollars creating this Super Lab. And you have access to this lab in year one. First year chemistry labs are done in the Super Lab. So you have access to lab opportunities right from day one, getting that hands-on experience, not just learning the theory in class, but putting it into practice. So that is a real advantage of the Carlson Science Program. Bachelor of Social Work, last but not least. Um, this is what we call a Structural Social Work Program. So in years one and two, you're really putting an emphasis on learning about the social issues from an academic perspective. So learning why we have the social issues we have, the history of them, so that you get a broad perspective on things, not just an individualistic perspective. So you're not looking to save one homeless person, put them into a shelter for the night. You're looking to work with homelessness as a whole. How can we allot money to shelters better? How can we learn to eradicate homelessness as a whole? How can we make buildings more accessible to handicapped people? So looking at the broader perspective. In your upper years, you get a ton of hands-on experience, like a ridiculous number of hours out in the field doing social work. And it is not uncommon for the people you work for to then hire you on after you graduate because they are just so pleased with the work you did. If you're interested in a Bachelor of Social Work, it does require a portfolio just because they want people who are passionate about helping other people. So if you're thinking of doing this, maybe start looking at places you can volunteer. Animal shelter, homeless shelter, hospital, anywhere where you can just show um, the applicant uh, society that judges your portfolio that you are a caring type personality. So those are the 16 programs. I, hopefully I didn't overwhelm you guys too much with all of that information. I know there's a lot to take in, um, but that's why that card at the back is so important. So if you forget something I said or you want a little bit more information, you have the opportunity to get that information from Carlton. International experience. We have relationships with 80 different institutions in 30 different countries. So I've had co-workers studying um, everything from English to business, traveling to another country, and learning there. So you're taking courses that count towards your Carleton degree in another country. So really a great opportunity to get a taste of a new language maybe, a new culture, and get some traveling in while you're still taking your undergraduate degree. Really a lot of fantastic opportunities to do that. Co-op education, on pages 62 and 63, 80% of our programs you'll see have a little black diamond next to them. This means that those programs offer co-op. Now unlike high school co-op, university co-op you get paid. 
Um, so you're making money while you're getting that hands-on experience. Uh, this is one of our aerospace engineering students that worked for the National Research Council helping build this helicopter. So once he graduated, not only could he say, I have a degree from Carlton in aerospace engineering, but I also helped build a helicopter. No big deal. Kind of sets you apart from your competition when you go out there into the world afterwards looking for a job. So if you have the opportunity to do co-op, I definitely highly recommend it to each and every one of you. That being said, if your program doesn't have a little black diamond, fear not, those programs typically offer a practicum or work study, which you do while you're still in school. So co-op, you take time off um, to do a work term, whereas practicum, you actually do while you're still doing your degree, and it counts towards credits. But unfortunately, you don't get paid. But there are kind of advantages to both of those options.